Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm showing you how to create a cool Snapchat lens using Lens Studio version 5. And we're going to work with a face distort asset just to mix things up. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to import, adjust, and publish your AR creation. Let's get started. Head over to ar.snap.com and click on download and go ahead and also click on I've read the privacy policy and then choose your operating system and click on that download. When you open the app, you'll see the home screen with your recent projects and sample options. But for our demo, we're going to start with a fresh project. So go ahead and click on default. And this gives you a clean slate to build our awesome face distortion effect. Now let's break down the interface. The scene panel is your creative workspace in Lens Studio. It shows you a live 3D view of everything in your project. What is just a face distorted image or lots of different assets. In this view, you can move, rotate and scale your items so they fit together just right. Over here to the left is our scene hierarchy, and this is where all your objects live in a neat list. Below this is your asset browser, and you use this panel to search for or import assets. And then over this side on the right is your inspector. Here you can tweak the properties of any selected object like position, rotation, or scale. And then further right, we have our preview panel. And this shows how your lens will look in real time. It's especially useful for testing face tracking and effects. Next, let's add our star asset. We're using a face distort effect. So click on asset library and search for face distort. All right, so you can go to the 3D section and search for it. Or you can just type in, in the search bar, face distort. All right, so when you find the asset that grabs your attention, then all you have to do is hit import. All right, once the import is done, the asset will appear in your asset browser in a folder that contains both the model and its associated materials. All right, so we're going to select face distort and we're going to drag it all the way up and we're going to right on top of the camera object. We're going to drop it right there. And this will ensure it's relative to the face tracker. All right, so over here in our preview panel, we can see our face distorted effect. And over here in our scene panel, we can see a live 3D view of our face distort asset. Nice. Now that our face distort element is in the scene, we need to make sure it moves with the face. So look for the head binding object in the scene hierarchy, often labeled head zero. So let's expand this. Piece inset. Here we go. There it is. All right. So this binding component ensures that everything underneath it, your face distort effect follows the track face. So double check also in the inspector that the face index right here is set to zero. And if you ever want to support additional faces, you can duplicate and adjust these settings. But for now, we're keeping it simple. Before moving on, let's go and hit file, save as, and we're going to save this as, let's see, face snap. All right, just to make sure that our progress is safe. Now let's jump over to the preview panel. And here you can see your face distort effect in action. And to really test it out, you can use the 
option to peer in new Snapchat account. And this will generate a snap code you can scan with your phone. And testing helps you fine tune positioning, scale, and other settings in real time. All right, so just go ahead and test it out. Play with it a little bit and have some fun. And once your face distort effect looks just right, it's time to get your lens out there. Open the project settings. Here you can name your lens. Maybe something fun like face melter. And set up your preview video and icon by uploading a custom video or grabbing a still from the preview panel. And finally, hit publish to export your lens and open the web portal for submission. Here you can choose a category, add tags and submit your lens for review. That's it. We just built a face distort filter from scratch using Lens Studio version 5. We covered everything from importing assets and adjusting them in the scene panel to testing and publishing your lens. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button, drop a comment and subscribe for more awesome tech content. As always, have an epic day.